the interesting thing about the germ theory, it was formulated in the 1800s. The two main proponents were Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch. Basically, they said there's one germ for every disease, one microorganism for every disease. And if they couldn't find the microorganism, they said, well, it's too small to see in our microscopes. And we'll just call it a virus, which means poison. If most illnesses really are due to poison and virus actually means poison, then it's a truthful word. However, that's not how it's described by any medical or scientific textbook. It's a problematic word. It's been completely changed in the modern era to refer to some sort of particle containing genetic material that causes illness and is contagious. This simply has never been proven to be the case. They could never prove that plain old bacteria could make a person sick. They could find the bacteria, they could find the bacteria in sick people, but they couldn't make well people sick by exposing them to this bacteria. The Public Health Service did a big study to try to prove that the Spanish flu was contagious, and they completely failed. They could not make well people sick by exposing them to sick people. They took blood from sick people and put it in well people. They had sick people spit on well people. They had mucus from sick people and squirted it into the well people. And in not one case could they make a healthy person sick by exposure to a sick person. Mm -hmm.